Hey guys, if you're new to this channel, welcome. For the last few weeks, I've been building this electronic Sudoku game. I'll put a link to this page in the YouTube description if you'd like to catch up on what you missed. If you've been following this project, thank you and welcome back. Remember a few weeks ago, we designed this custom PCB for the Mega Sudoku and we sent it to be manufactured in China? Well, it's here! I'm very pleased with the quality of the board. Look at how tiny these traces are. The lines and text are crisp. The solder mask is clean. And I think the board is even pretend. Okay, let's put some parts on it. The first thing I soldered up were the nine column transistors. Next are the shift registers. We only need nine, but since they are less than $4 for 100, I splurge and I got 100 shift registers. I'll never run out. Well, I got nine of them all soldered up. So let's test it out. Basically, I still have the old circuit over here, but I took all the LEDs out of there and put it on the PCB. So plus and minus, data, clock, and latch. And these are the, all the columns. Column zero, column one, Seven, eight, and this is plus to power all of them through the resistor. Okay, <laughs> moment of truth. Uh oh, <laughs> nothing's happening. Oh, it's unplugged. <laughs> that was scary. Come on. All right. Check it out. Let's see if you can see this. Exciting. Well, let's do the rest of them. Okay, guys. All 81 7 segment displays are soldered up. All the shift registers have been soldered up with the resistor array. And these are the transistors that drive the columns. See all these columns? The wires are going this way. And on the other side, the wires are going this way. Had we not have a custom PCB, all these wires will have to be on the same side, which will be quite a nightmare, I think. So whenever a wire needs to go through, we go through these little tiny little holes that connects this layer to the other layer. Put questions and comments if you have anything that you want to know. So as you can see, I've entered this Sudoku game into the sketch. I do not yet have a generator to generate a Sudoku. If you want to help me with that, the code is in GitHub. Do a pull request and I'll be happy to try it out. Okay, moving on. One of you guys suggested this input method. I thought this was pretty cool. Notice that we have three box by three box here that corresponds to these three here, but that also corresponds to these three across and three vertical, just like three across and three vertical. Because of that, you can choose any of these cells with just two taps. Let me show you. Go into the select mode, it highlights the whole thing saying that we need to select one of these guys. Let's say we want to select that guy right here. To choose that guy, we need to choose the box first. So that's middle top. There'll be this one. And so now it shows that we have selected this box, this box right here. And to choose that corner, we need to choose the top right corner of this box, which is that guy right here. And now it's asking you to put what number in there. This five means there is no five here. That 5 means there is no 5 here, so that means a 5 could go here or here, but as you can see down here, there's a 5 here, therefore a 5 must be there. So let's enter a 5. I thought that was a pretty cool way of entering things. With just two key presses, you can choose any of these 81 cells. Pretty cool. While there's still a lot to do, I still have to make a box set for this because this is just foam core as you saw. And there's a lot of code to be written. I think it's uh, quite a success. Thanks for letting me share this with you. And please don't be shy leaving comments because I really like interacting with you guys. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.